2022. So here, first question: Which of the following rational numbers has terminating decimal expansion? See, terminating decimal expansion. If we take the fraction p by q, q should have the factors of two, or it should have the factors of five, or two and five. So here, terminating decimal expansion. Now see, first option: seven by forty. 7 by 40. So 40 you can add as 2 cube into 5. So very clearly it is first option is correct. So option one, terminating decimal. Now if you want you can check 11 by 35. 35 you have like 5 into 7. 7 is there, so it will not terminate. And 5 by 21. 21 you can add as like 3 into 7. 3 and 7, so it will not terminate. And two by fifteen, so fifteen is three into five, so we have three. It will not terminate. We should have two, or five, or two and five. Next one, which of the following is not an irrational number? See, first one is root two, it is irrational. Second one is root three, it is also irrational, and uh, fourth one is also irrational because root five. If you we'll see the third option, here third option is root four. Root four is nothing but two, which is rational number, which is rational. So here correct option is three. Correct option is three. Next one, third question. Here if p and q are two positive integers such that c p is a cube b square. And q is a b cube. So here, where a and b are like prime numbers, so it is already written in the form of like prime factorization. We need to find HCF. So HCF is see here we have a cube, here we have a. So the common will be only a. B square b cube. So common will be like b square. So HCF is a b square. So the correct option is two. Question number four. The sum of the exponents of the prime factors in the prime factorization of one ninety six. So first find the prime factors of one ninety six. Two times ninety eight, two times forty nine, seven times seven. So one ninety six is two power two, seven power two. So here sum of the exponents. Here exponent is two and here it is two. So two plus two, which is four. So here correct option is four. Next one, according to the fundamental theorem of fundamental theorem of arithmetic, if p divides a square, where a is a positive integer, then see if p divides a square, p divides a square. So I'll take example like p divides thirty six, which is p divides six square. So if p divides six square, then definitely p divides six. So here p divides a. So the correct option is three. Next one, log a b, log a by b. Sorry. So here I'll use the identity. The identity is logarithm of product log a to the base six plus log b to the base six is log a b to the base six. So here we have plus. So I'll write log a by b into b by a equals log a plus b. See here, a and a cancel, b and b will get cancelled. So it is log one equals log a plus b. So if I'll compare, so I'll get like a plus b is one. A plus b is one. So correct option is one. Next one, which of the following is not a set? Which of the following is not a set? The collection of all boys in a class. See, it is a set. The collection of all even integers. So two, four, six, eight, so on. It is also a set. The third question. It is not a set because the collection of ten most talented writers of India. See, ten most talented. Talent based on here what like on what conditions they didn't inform. So it is not a. well defined so the correct option is here 
थ्री सी टैलेंट सम विल हैव टैलेंट इन राइटिंग सम स्टोरी बुक सम विल हैव राइटिंग इन लाइक नॉवेल्स और समथिंग लाइक सो इट इज नॉट वेल डिफाइंड सो द कलेक्शन ऑफ टेन मोस्ट टैलेंटेड राइटर्स ऑफ इंडिया इज नॉट ए सेट नंबर एट मैच द फॉलोइंग नल सेट न सी एक्स सेज दट हियर वी हैव नल सेट सिंगल टन सेट इन्फिनेट सेट सो हियर एक्स इज एक्स सेज दट एक्स इज ए रियल नंबर सी इट इज इन्फिनेट सेट ओके नेक्स्ट वन एक्स इज ए होल नंबर एंड लेस देन जीरो सी होल नंबर लेस देन जीरो वी डोंट हैव बिकॉज होल नंबर स्टार्ट फ्रॉम जीरो सो इट इज नल सेट नेक्स्ट वन सिंगल टन सेट सो सिंगल टन सेट इज X is an even prime, so even prime means you will get only like two. So this is the correct option. So A two B three A two B three C one. So correct option is four. Next one. A and B are disjoint sets. Disjoint sets means, for example, take A, you take one two. In B, we can write as like three four. So A intersection B, if you do, you'll get null set because nothing is common in this. So you'll get null set. So here the correct option is four. Next one. In a class of sixty students, in a class of sixty students, forty-five students like music, fifty students like dance, and five students like neither. See, this is most important here. Like five students like neither. So total students who are participating. In like music and dance is fifty five only. Out of sixty, if we take out five, so total students fifty five. So n of a union b equals n of a plus n of b minus n of a intersection b. So here a is I'll consider it as like music and b is dance. So n of Total total students are how many? Like here fifty five, and in music forty five, and dance fifty, and both in both we need to calculate. So just transpose this here. So n of a intersection b equals forty five plus fifty minus fifty five. So ninety five minus fifty five, which is like. Forty. So forty students like both music and or both will participate. Number of students in the class who like both music and dance is forty. So the correct option is two. Eleven. If A and B are two sets such that A union B equals A intersection B. See if A union B equals A intersection B. Then definitely A should be equal to B. Suppose A is one two three, and B is also one two three. Then A union B, all the elements of A and B. So we'll write one two three, and A intersection B. We'll write the common elements which are like one two three. So if A is equal to B, then A union B is equal to A intersection B, so the correct option is three. Next question, which of the following is not a polynomial? Now see here the first one. An algebraic expression in which the power of the variable, an algebraic expression in which the power of the variable should be a whole number. See here, if you observe the variable here, the power is two and here it is one. It is a polynomial. And next here. The power of the variable two and one. This is also polynomial. Here it is x cube, x square, and x power one. So this is also polynomial. Now here, if you observe this, x plus three by x. X if you take the numerator, it will become x power minus one. Here power of the variable is not a whole number. Therefore, it is not a polynomial. So correct answer is four. The degree of the polynomial. So here. X plus one into x square minus x plus x power four minus one. See directly, don't decide by seeing this power highest power four. 
So if you'll multiply, now see if you'll multiply all this, you'll get x cube minus x square plus x into x power 4 is x power 5 minus x. Again, if you'll multiply with 1 like x square minus x plus x power 4 minus 1. So if you'll observe the highest is like x power 5. So therefore the degree is 5, option is 4. Option 4. Next one. If sum of the zeros of a quadratic polynomial k x square plus 2x plus 3k is equal to product of the zeros. So they told very clearly sum equals product. Sum equals product. So alpha plus beta equals alpha into beta minus b by a equals c by a. So if you compare this quadratic equation with the standard one a x square plus b x plus c a value is k b is 2 c is 3 k so here a and a cancel minus b so minus 2 because b is 2 equals 3 k so k equals minus 2 by 3 so correct option is 1 minus 2 by 3 next one number of zeros number of zeros of the polynomial see the polynomial wherever it cuts x axis or at how many points it cuts x axis that many zeros now here it cuts at here 1 2 3 so this polynomial has like three zeros so correct option is 4 the value of k for which the pair of linear equations here two linear equations are given k x minus y equals 2 6x minus 2y equals 3 has unique solution. So unique solution is nothing but one solution. So the lines are intersecting. So the lines are intersecting. So the two lines are here. Kx minus y equals 2 and 6x minus 2y equals 3. So as the lines are intersecting, the condition is a1 by a2 is not equal to b1 by b2. So, k by 6 is not equal to here the coefficient is 1 minus 1 by minus 2 minus minus cancel. So, k is not equal to 6 by 2 k is not equal to 3. So, the correct option is 2. Next one the pair of equations see y equals 0 y equals 0 it represents x axis y equals 0 represents x axis and y equals minus 7 minus 1 minus 2 minus 4 minus 3 minus 4 minus 6 minus 7 y equals 7 will come like this so these two lines are parallel so as these two lines are parallel we will not get solution so correct option is 4 no solution because the lines are parallel y equals 0 represents x axis and y is equal to minus 7 will be like this so the lines are parallel, no solution. Next one. If the sum of the ages of a father and his son is 65 years. So here I will consider father as x and son as y. So let the father's age be. I will consider it as x years. And son's age I will consider it as y. So sum of is sum is how much 65 and twice the difference of their ages and twice the difference of their ages is 50 twice the difference of their ages is 50 so x minus y is 50 upon 2 so x minus y is 25 so x minus y is 25 if I simplify this 2x equals 90 so x equals 90 upon 2 so x equals 45 so for this age is 45 x plus y is 65 so 45 plus y is 65 so y is 65 minus 45 so y is 20 so they are asking then the age of the father then the age of the father is like here clearly 45 so correct option is 1. Next one. 15th term of an AP. 
so 15th term so here first term is minus 10 common difference is a2 minus a1 which is minus 5 minus of minus 10 so minus 5 plus 10 which is 5 so they want 15th term so a15 a15 is a plus 14d a value is minus 10 plus 14 into 5 minus 10 plus 14 5 is 70 minus 10 plus 70 is 60 so correct option is 2 next one the first term if the first and fourth term of a gp are 1 9 27 then common ratio see first term is 1 fourth term is 27 in gp in gp fourth term is a r power 3 is 27 so a is 1 1 r power 3 is 27 so r power 3 is 27 r cube equals 3 cube so r equals 3 so common ratio is 3 so the correct option is 3 If A, B, C are in A, P, A, B, C are in A, P and uh, X, Y, Z are in G, P. So, here A, B, C. If they are in A, P, the condition is 2B equals A plus C. And if X, Y, Z are in G, P, then Y square equals X, Z. If you do for G, P, you can do this one like a2 by a1 equals a3 by a2 and for ap you can do a2 minus a1 equals a3 minus a2 so you will get these conditions now y square equals x z now they told like x y z are in gp so y square equals x z now take the problem then the value of x power b minus c y power c minus a z power a minus b now here x power b minus c in place of y see y square equals xz so y value will be root xz so here in place of y i'll write root xz whole power c minus a into z power a minus b now here x power b minus c and root if you take out like xz whole power 1 by 2 so you will get like c minus a by 2 z power a minus b x power b minus c and here x power c minus a by 2 z power c minus a by 2 and here z power a minus b here bases are same so I'll add the powers x power b minus c plus c minus a by 2 z power c minus a by 2 plus a minus b so I'll take lcm here lcm is 2 x power so 2b minus 2c plus c minus a here z power lcm is 2 here you will get like 2c, sorry, c minus a plus 2a minus 2b. Now, if you will simplify further, if you will simplify a little bit, now see here, x power 2b minus 2c plus c is minus c minus a by 2 z power see here 2 c minus a plus 2 a is plus a minus 2 b so here x power one more step just if i do it here see here 2 b i can write as a plus c here 2 b here also i can write as a plus c or otherwise here i just change it x power this note 
सो एक्स पावर इन प्लेस ऑफ टू बी ए कैन राइट एस ए प्लस सी माइनस सी माइनस ए बाई टू जेड पावर सी प्लस ए इन प्लेस ऑफ सी प्लस ए कैन राइट एस टू बी माइनस टू बी सो हियर यू आर गेटिंग एक्स पावर जीरो बाई टू जेड पावर जीरो बाई टू सो एक्स पावर जीरो बाई टू इज एक्स पावर जीरो हियर ऑन लेट दिस एक्स पावर जीरो इन टू वाई पावर जीरो any number if it is raised to the power 0 its value is 1 so here x power 0 is 1 into 1 so the answer is 1 so for this problem the answer is for this is 1 so correct option is 2 correct option for the question number 21 is 2 The distance of the point P two comma three from x-axis. See, so if we we'll take from x-axis zero one two three one two three. See two comma three will be here. Two comma three. So from this is the point. See from x-axis, it is at a distance of three units. So, if they last the distance from x-axis, take y value. If they last the distance from y-axis, take x value. Now they are asking from x-axis, so y value is like three. So the correct answer is two. Next one, the quadrant in which the point divides the line segment joining. So this I will consider x one, y one, x two, y two, and ratio is m one m two is one is to two, m one m two. So The formula to find the point is m1 x2 plus m2 x1 by m1 plus m2 m1 y2 plus m2 y1 by m1 plus m2. Now here m1 is here one, x2 is three, m2 is two, x1 is seven by one plus two. And here, y two is four, m two is two, y one is minus six by one plus two. See, now directly you can answer. This is we are getting positive value. This is four minus twelve. This here we are getting negative, positive negative. So answer is fourth quadrant. But I'll simplify. Fourteen by three, four minus twelve by three. So this is. Seventeen by three, and this is minus eight by three. So positive, negative. Positive negative is fourth quadrant. Positive and negative is fourth quadrant. So the correct option is here four. Next one. The triangle <coughs> formed by A. See if we we'll take the A minus four comma zero, so here it's minus four. A and B is four comma zero, four zero, and C is zero three, zero three. See this distance and this distance are equal. This one and this one are equal, and this is eight. So if two sides are equal, so directly you can answer. It is isosceles triangle, or otherwise you can do by calculating the distances of all line. See AB distance is very clear under root x two minus x one, so four plus four whole square plus zero, so that is eight square, so the distance is eight. Now AC if I calculate, so zero AC distance. So z x two minus x one if I do like zero plus four whole square plus three minus zero whole square, so sixteen plus nine, which is root twenty five, which is five. So this distance is five. So this also will be like five. So it is isosceles triangle. So the correct option is one. Next one. Three vertices of a parallelogram are given. We need to find the Fourth vertex. So to find the fourth vertex, 
see here we will take the parallelogram so here a is minus 1 comma 2 b 2 comma minus 1 c 3 comma 1 so fourth vertex d i will consider it as a comma b as it is a parallelogram diagonals bisect each other so diagonals bisect each other so i will do midpoint of ac midpoint of a c equals midpoint of b d so midpoint formula is x1 plus x2 upon 2 y1 plus y2 by 2 here also x1 plus x2 by 2 y1 plus y2 by 2 now if i substitute the values x1 is minus 1 these are x1 y1 x2 y2 minus 1 plus 3 by 2 and uh, 2 plus 1 by 2 here x1 y1 x2 y2 2 plus a by 2 minus 1 plus b by 2 so now if we'll equate abscissa with abscissa and ordinate with ordinate see minus 1 plus 3 is 2 by 2 is 2 plus a by 2 2 2 cancel so here i'll get now a plus 2 equals 2 so a is 2 minus 2 so a is 0 next if i'll equate ordinate with ordinate this one so 2 plus 1 3 by 2 is minus 1 plus b upon 2 2 2 cancel so minus 1 plus b equals 3 so b equals 3 plus 1 so the value of b is 4 so a comma b a is 0 b is 4 so the fourth vertex is 0 comma 4 correct option is 2 if the slope of the line joining p 2 comma 5 and q x comma 3 is 2 so this is x1 y1 x2 y2 slope formula is slope is 2 slope is y2 minus y1 by x2 minus x1 so y2 is 3 minus 5 by x minus 2 is 2 3 minus 5 is minus 2 equals 2 into x minus 2 so minus 2 by 2 equals x minus 2 minus 1 is x minus 2 minus 1 plus 2 is x so x value is 1 so the correct option is 1 next one if the points are collinear if the points are collinear then the value of k now see here if the points are collinear you can calculate with area area you can equate with 0 or otherwise as it is a straight line pqr so as it is straight line so slope of pq will be equal to slope of qr so pq slope if we we'll take p and q slope see x1 y1 x2 y2 so y2 minus y1 if you we'll do k minus 3 by 5 minus 2 equals now slope of qr q and r if you we'll do now q and r if you we'll do this is x1 y1 x2 y2 7 minus k by 6 minus 5 so k minus 3 by 3 7 minus k by 1 if i will cross multiply 1 into k minus 3 3 into 7 minus k k minus 3 equals 21 minus 3k k plus 3k equals 21 plus 3 4k equals 24 k equals 24 by 4 which is nothing but 6 so here the correct option is 4 
or otherwise you can use the area formula area equal to 0 you will get the value of k so in the given figure if de is parallel to bc ad by db so if you apply bpt these two lines are parallel de is parallel to bc so if you apply bpt ad by db equals ae by ec so this is ae i need to calculate so i'll consider x so ac is 5.6 so this one I'll consider it as 5.6 minus x. So AD by DB is 3 by 5 is x by 5.6 minus x. So if I'll cross multiply 3 into 5.6 minus x equals 5x. 3 into 5.6 minus 3x equals 5x. 3 into 5.6 equals 5x plus 3x, 3 into 5.6 equals 8x. So 3 into 5.6 by 8 is x, 8 times 1, 8 times 7, so 0 0.7. So x is 0 0.7 into 3, which is nothing but 2.1 centimeters. So AE is 2.1 centimeters, so correct option is here 1. Next one. Next question. The length of the diagonals of a rhombus. So here see the length of the diagonals of a rhombus. If we we'll take rhombus A, B, C, D. So the length of the diagonals is one is 30, the other one is 40. So, so but I, here 30 and 40. So I'll, I'll take this is 15. The other one is 20, 15 and 20. So because diagonals bisect each other, 15, 15, 20, 20. So now if I apply Pythagoras theorem for triangle AOB, suppose if I apply Pythagoras theorem for triangle AOB, hypotenuse is AB, hypotenuse square equals OA square plus OB square. OA is 15, OB is 20. 225 plus 400 which is 625 so ab square is under root 625 so ab is 25 centimeters so the correct option is 3 in the given figure o is the center of the circle aoc is 110 okay i need to calculate adc so see cat theorem Central angle theorem. So it is nothing but angle subtended by an arc at the center is twice the angle subtended by the same arc on the remaining part of a circle. This is ninth class circles problem. So here the theorem says that AOB is twice ACB. Suppose if this is this angle is x, so this is 2x. So this is CAT theorem. So if I apply that theorem, here angle AOC is twice a d c so a o c is 110 is twice a d c so 110 by 2 is a d c which is 55 equals angle a d c so the correct option is 2 if a point p is 17 centimeters from the center of a circle of radius 8 here radius is 8 and this distance is 17. Then the length of the tangent drawn to a circle from point P. So we need to find AP. So we will consider it as X. So see in triangle AOP, I will apply Pythagoras theorem. So here hypotenuse is OP. Hypotenuse square equals sum of the squares of other two sides. OA square plus AP square. OP is 17 square. OA is 8 square. Plus AP is X square. So 17 square is 289 equals 64 plus X square. So 289 minus 64 equals X square which is 225. 
so x equals under root 225 so x equals 15 centimeters so the correct option is 3 15 centimeters if cos a equals 4 by 5 so here cos a equals 4 by 5 so cos theta is adjacent by hypotenuse adjacent by hypotenuse so if we we'll take a triangle so here a b c so if we we'll take angle at a so this will be adjacent this is hypotenuse which is opposite to 90 so this is opposite now here I'll take opposite as opposite I'll consider it as like x adjacent 4x so we'll do one thing here we'll find the opposite one. and hypotenuse is 5x so now I'll apply Pythagoras theorem I'll get the value of bc so hypotenuse square ac square equals ab square plus bc square so ac is 5x whole square ab is 4x whole square plus bc is i need to calculate bc square so 25x square 4x square is 16x square minus 16x square equals bc square so 9x square is bc square root 9x square is bc so 3x is bc so this is 3x now we need to calculate tan theta so tan a is opposite by adjacent opposite is 3x adjacent is 4x xx cancel so answer is 3 by 4 so 3 by 4 the correct option is 2 next one next in the value of cot 45 see cot 45 if you will see the trigonometric ratios table in table you will get like cot 45 is 1 sin 30 is 1 by 2 and cos 60 is 1 by 2 so cot 45 is 1 and half plus half which is nothing but 1 sin 30 value is 1 by 2 cos 60 is also 1 by 2 1 by 2 plus 1 by 2 which is 1 so the answer is 1 so correct option is 1 next question the value of value of tan 2 see here the value of tan 2 tan 4 tan 6 so on tan 88 so all are even numbers so tan 88 so before that it will be like tan 66 tan 86 sorry tan 86 now write in pairs such that the angles will be like complementary so write tan 2 tan 88 otherwise do one thing change there itself tan 2 tan 4 as it is here tan 86 I will write as tan 90 minus 4 and tan 88 I will write as tan 90 minus 2 now tan 2 tan 4 so on tan 90 minus 4 is cot 4 tan 90 minus theta is cot theta so now see tan 2 into cot 2 is 1 tan 4 into cot 4 is 1 like that you will get all the multiplication like product will be like 1 because they are reciprocal because tan is opposite by adjacent cot is adjacent by opposite so tan into cot is 1 so 1 into 1 into 1 into 1 so you will get all like this so answer will be like 1 so the correct option is 2 next one tan theta plus cot theta is 5 tan square plus cot square so here tan theta plus cot theta is 5 so here squaring on both sides you do because as you need tan square cot square so tan square theta a square 
plus b square cot square theta plus 2 tan theta cot theta is 25. Now see here tan square theta plus cot square theta tan into cot is 1 so 2 into 1 equals 25. So tan square theta plus cot square theta equals 25. This 2 if I transpose 2 into 1 is 2 minus 2. So the answer is 23. So the correct option is 4. Next one. Next question if you see like 36. So x equals a sin theta. x equals a sin theta. y equals b tan theta. So just substitute in that like x square. So here it is like a square by x square. So a square by x. x is a sin theta whole square plus sorry minus minus b square by y y value is b tan theta whole square so here you will get like a square by a square sin square theta b square by b square tan square theta now a square a square b square b square cancel so now 1 by sin here it is 1 1 by sin square is cosec square and 1 by tan is cot square and cosec square minus cot square is 1 so the correct option is 1 if sec theta plus tan theta equals x then tan theta equals see here this problem is based on like identity like second square theta minus tan square theta is 1 so it is in the form of a square minus b square so a plus b into a minus b a plus b into a minus b is 1 now sec theta plus tan theta value is x x into sec theta minus tan theta is 1 so sec theta minus tan theta is 1 by x now these two equations I will eliminate like. Now see sec theta plus tan theta is x. Sec theta minus tan theta is 1 by x. Now I need to find tan theta. So what I will do I will subtract minus. This minus will become like plus and here minus. Sec theta sec theta cancel. So tan plus tan 2 tan theta x minus 1 by x. 2 tan theta LCM is x so here like x square minus 1 so tan theta value is x square minus 1 by this 2 if I transpose I will get here 2x so x square minus 1 by 2x that is correct option is 4 next one 38 sin theta by 1 plus cos theta See here whenever it will get like this. So multiply and divide with 1 minus cos theta by 1 minus cos theta. So you will get sin theta into 1 minus cos theta by a plus b into a minus b. a square minus b square. So you will get sin theta into 1 minus cos theta by 1 minus cos square is sin square because the identity is sin square theta plus cos square theta is 1 so 1 minus cos square is sin square so 1 sin theta sin theta cancel so you are left with like 1 minus cos theta by sin theta so the correct option is 3 1 minus cos theta by sin theta If the ratio of the length of the pole and its shadow, see here length of the pole and its shadow. So AB is length of the pole and BC is the length of the shadow are in the ratio 1 is to root 3. So this is 1x, this is root 3x. Then the angle of elevation, we need to find theta. So if this is theta, opposite adjacent, I will use tan theta tan theta is opposite by adjacent 
so tan theta is 1x by root 3x so x and x cancel so tan theta is 1 by root 3 tan theta is tan 30 theta is 30 degrees so the correct option is 1 because 1 by root 3 in tan you will get for 30 so tan 30 so correct option is 1 next one if two towers of height h1 and h2 subtend angles of 45 and 30 respectively at the midpoint of the line joining their feet you now see here they do very clearly a b is suppose if you will consider the ground c is the midpoint two towers one is h1 the other one is h2 at midpoint they subtends angle 45 45 degrees and 30 degrees respectively then the ratio of h1 and h2 see this distance i'll consider as x so this also will be x now first i'll calculate here tan 45 so tan 45 is h1 by x h1 by x tan 45 is 1 is h1 by x so h1 is x now h2 I will calculate in the other triangle tan 30 is h2 by x tan 30 is 1 by root 3 is h2 by x so h2 is x by root 3 so now I need to calculate h1 is to h2 so h1 is x divided by x by root 3 so x into root 3 by x so otherwise you can write so x into root 3 by x so xx cancel so you left with root 3 so the answer is root 3 is to 1 so the correct option is 2 so here see h1 by h2 h1 is to h2 you can do it like h1 by h2 so h1 is x divided by x by root 3 so this division if i'll change to multiplication so it will become reciprocal so here it is root 3 by x x x cancel so root 3 root 3 i can write as root 3 by 1 so the ratio is root 3 is to 1 so correct option is 2 which of the following cannot be the probability of an event so here see probability of an event is number of favorable outcomes number of favorable outcomes by total number of outcomes total number of outcomes so see probability it will be from always from it will be from 0 to 1 because probability of an event is less than or equal to 1 or greater than or equal to 0 see 1 by 3 it's a proper fraction so it will be from 0 to 1 so it is it can be a probability 0 0.3 is also between 0 and 1 33 percent 33 percent is 33 by 100 so which is 0 0.33 that also comes from between 0 to 1 so 7 by 6 7 by 6 see it is more than 1 7 6 1 6 point 1 point 1 it is more than 1 so it cannot be a probability so the correct option is 4 if a card is selected at random from a deck of 52 cards then the probability of getting a red face cards now see here just i'll give a short introduction of cards 52 cards it is divided into four suits okay diamond diamonds hearts spades and clubs diamonds hearts spades and clubs now see this diamonds and hearts are in red color spades and clubs are in black color now in diamonds king queen jack these are like face cards 
king queen jack and in hearts in spades and clubs of the same thing king queen jack king queen and jack and the remaining cards are like ace 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 these are number cards now the question is what is the probability of getting a red face card see red face cards we have 6 3 in diamonds and 3 in hearts so probability of red face card is 6 upon 52 So two times three, two times twenty-six. So three by twenty-six. So the correct option is one. Next one, the probability of getting the same number on both the dice if two dice are thrown together. See, when two dice are thrown together, the total outcomes are like thirty-six. Example, I'll tell you: one, 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 two, one, three, one, four, one, five. One six. In the same way, two one, two two, two three, two four, two five, two six. Like in the same way, like three one three two, four one four two, so on. Like total outcomes are same number. We'll call it as like doublet. So total outcomes are thirty six. So here we have the doublet. So like we'll get like one one, one two two. Three three, four four, five five, six six. So total outcomes here like six. So six by thirty six, which is one by six. So the correct option is three. Next one. A box contains. A box contains three blue balls. So here blue balls. Three, two white balls. Four red balls. Total, if I do nine. If a ball is drawn at random from the box, what is the probability that it will not be a white? They don't want white. So probability of not white. Total outcomes are nine. So the remaining are four plus three is seven. Seven upon nine. So the correct option is three. Next one. The mean of twelve numbers is nineteen. If four is subtracted from each observation, see then the new mean. See, however, the observations will get affected. The mean will also get affected in the same way. The mean is nineteen. From each observation, four is subtracted. So nineteen minus four is fifteen. So the correct option is. Four. I'll explain this problem. Now see, suppose the observations are like x one, x two, so on, x twelve. So the mean of twelve observations mean is sum of the observations by number of observations. Mean is nineteen, and x one plus x two plus so on, x twelve by twelve. So here. Yes. 19 into 12. So this is the formula. So here you will get like 19 into 12, which is nothing but see sum of 12 observations. Sum of 12 observations is 19 into 12, which is 228 equals x1 plus x2 plus so on x12. But they told from each observation. The total from each observation, four is subtracted. So the new observations will be x one minus four, x two minus four, so on. There are twelve observations, so x twelve minus four. So new mean is x one minus four plus x two minus four, so on. X twelve minus four by twelve. So which you can write as x one. First, I'll write all the x one, x two terms. X one plus x two plus so on. X twelve. 
then this minus 4 minus 4 minus 4 you will get like 12 times because there are 12 terms by 12 see this x1 x2 x3 so on x12 value you already got 228 minus 4 into 12 is 48 by 12 so 228 minus 48 is 180 180 by 12 which is nothing but 15 which you can do directly however the observations will get affected in the same way the mean will get affected so so that answer is nothing but here 15 if the mean of the following data is k then find the value of k see here this is xi this is fi so i'll calculate fi xi so otherwise write me in detail like xi directly i'll do it fi xi so fi xi k into k which is k square 4 into 2k 8k k into 3k 3k square 8 into 4k 32k 3 into 5k which is 15k so sigma fi xi k square 3k square 4k square plus 32 plus 8 40 plus 15 55 k this is sigma fi xi now sigma fi if you add total frequency k plus 2k 3 3 plus 3 6 6 plus 4 10 15 k so they told mean sum of the observations it's a group data so sigma fi xi by sigma fi so mean they told k sigma fi xi i got like 4k square plus 55k by 15k cross multiply k into 15k 15k square equals 4k square plus 55k 15k square minus 4k square is 55k 11k square is 55k so 1k and k cancel so 11k is 55 k is 55 by 11 k equals 5 so the correct option is 3 see here if you simplify in a different way you will get like this see 11k square minus 55k equals 0 11k if you take common k minus 5 so 11k equals 0 k minus 5 equals 0 so k equals 0 k equals 5 but they told k should be greater than 0 so the correct option is 5 next one the median if a data has 25 observations so 25 observations is nothing but here it is like odd number of observations so median is if odd number of observations median is n plus 1 by 2 observation so here 25 plus 1 by 2 which is 26 by 2 which is nothing but 13th observation so correct option is 2 next one if the mode and median of a frequency distribution then the mean is See here you can simplify with this empirical relation mode equals 3 median minus 2 mean so here mode and median so mode value is 5 median is 10 5 equals 3 into 10 minus 2 mean so 2 mean transpose to the other side so 2 mean equals 30 minus 5 so 2 mean is 25 so mean value is 25 upon 2 
so mean is 12.5 so the correct option is 3 which of the following cannot be determined graphically see median in state syllabus we have median we can find with the help of graph and mode also we can find in ICSE books we will be having like mode also we can calculate with the help of graph mean we cannot find with the help of graphs. So the correct option is 1. Next one. If the mode of the data 2, 4, 6, 7, 5, 6, 10, 6, 7, 2K plus 1, 9, 7. So see here, each observation like how many times you have will count like see. The total mode is 7. So 7 is here 1 time, 2, 3 and next 6, 6 also you have 3 times. So definitely this 2k plus 1, see mode is 7. So definitely this 2k plus 1 value should be, it should be 7. Then 7 will come like 4 times, then mode will become 7. Because already 6 we have 3 times. 7 also we have 3 times. So if you will take this 2k plus 1 as 7. Then I will get mode as 7. So 2k equals 7 minus 1. 2k equals 6. k equals 6 by 2. k equals 3. So the correct option is 2.